That's right. I'm getting me bowl of Lucky Charms out this morning. And why not? Do I not deserve some Lucky Charms after for so long? You know, they don't give you Lucky Charms when you're in prison. They don't. They give you other things that are not quite as good. Which, well, is what it is. Every morning at 5.15, no one overhead speaker, they have, count clear, count clear, Oh five fifteen. Not exactly what you want to hear at 5 o'clock in the morning. The only thing you want to be hearing, well, frankly, you don't want to be hearing nothing. Yeah, which is, which, unfortunately, you don't hear. So, you have 300 guys, minus this one, race them down the hallway to get in line for a sack lunch with a little cup of prepackaged off brand cereal, two cartons of milk, some kind of funky thing in there that doesn't taste very good, some kind of little breakfast bar thing. Two jellies, two butters, and two pieces of toast. Now, it ain't worth it most days. Mmm. I love me Lucky Charms, but you can't have none. There are some days. It's just worth it to go down there. I have powdered donuts, <clears throat> sometimes peanut butter breakfast bars. Very rarely, though, anything worth it, chite. So, you make do. A lot of days you skip breakfast. And I miss breakfast. But it's not worth standing in line with the rudest people on earth. Because they don't care who you are. They push, they chuff. They get in your way. They cut you off. Oh man, dude here's holding spot for me. I don't give a shit if dude's holding a spot for you or not. I'm in fucking line. Get your ass to the back. But you can't say nothing. Because there's 17 of them and one of you. So what do you do? Aye, whatever, lad. That dude's holding it for you. I guess he's holding it for you. Yeah, man, thanks for letting me uh, get in here, y'all. I'm kind of hungry and all. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Well, no, shy. No one really has. Or you'd like, well, oh, you know, my family doesn't send money like your family does. Well, you know, that's because you've been here 17 fucking times. And they're kind of tired of sending you $20 a month so you can buy your soups and whatever else for your snacks. So, my thought is, is why the fuck you keep coming back? I don't know. Is it easy? Oh, wait. Maybe it's because you get three meals a day, a warm bed to sleep in, and don't have no worries and no bills. You need a little job, and you go out, and you can do whatever you want. You know, make your 32 cents an hour, 27 cents an hour, and get your 49 or 59 dollars a month, and you can buy your little snacks and candies and beg things off people, and you don't really have any worries. I don't see how this is any good. Or any fun. Frankly, I didn't enjoy it at all. Mm. I mean, really. Who wants to go to prison because you don't have these? We eat the marshmallows, but you look at that. It's brilliant. You don't realize what you're missing until you don't have it. Not the hell with the girlfriend thing, you know. Mmm. I don't make no difference. A dime a dozen, you can find another one. I fall in on a lust ten times a day, easily. And frankly, at this point in time, if I don't fall in on a lust ten times a day, I get a little worried about myself, and I go to Walmart just to walk around. Just so I do. And all I got to say is, God bless yoga pants. Oh, dear God. And thank you to me, brother, for taking me to Walmart and showing me them. I had no clue. Where the hell have these been my whole life? Every woman's got a pair of yoga pants, and they're deceiving, which is wonderful. Because frankly, I'm just out there just to look. I ain't out there to, to shop. I just window shopping, really. I don't want to buy. Frankly, why buy a cow? I can wander around and look at all the milk I want. Or wait, that's not how that goes. But I, you know what I mean. I'm looking to purchase. Just looking to browse. That's wonderful. And if uh, we'll have the sample to wear as well. You know, hey, I'll milk it the hard way. I have no problem with that. So, <laughs> we did the marshmallows. That's wonderful. If you have that moment during your day, you think that your life sucks. Things are going to shit. And you don't know what you're doing. Well, let me tell you this. Go sit in your bedroom for a minute, close the door, shut everything off. You're not allowed to get out of your bed. 
Can't touch nothing. Can't go away, can't turn your TV on, no cell phone, and pick three books and sit them there. And spend 24 hours like that, and allow yourself to go to the bathroom once every three hours. Get up, go downstairs, eat, come right back up. Go outside for an hour, stay in your yard. I'll guarantee fucking tell you you're going to appreciate everything else after that. And these wee little problems. Oh, I can't pay my bills. I'm in debt. Fuck that. I'm in debt with my ass. And then harder. And I don't give a shit because I can dig myself out. I just shut shit off. Take care of myself. So quit your whining. Because the most important meal of the day is, well, lucky charms, of course. But breakfast. So in that morning, when you're having that crappy day and you're having your bowl, to, bowl of whole wheat, whatever... Fuck that. Have the lucky charms, because you know what? You're going to fucking die anyways. Die with a fucking smile on your face and be happy about life. If oatmeal's the way you want to go, hey, great, I love oatmeal. But now without a couple slices of bacon on top. You know what? I love my lucky charms. I'm going to have myself a second bowl. So if you all don't mind, I'm going to finish this one and have another one. And oh, God love you. You know I do.